Welcome back to the Good Days channel. Today we're going to cook our last recipe on the butternut mini series. This recipe is the shiitake stuffed butternut. For it, we need some periyaol, so one cup of shiitake mushroom, here a shiitake mushroom, which is a Japanese mushroom. I have it sliced here. Three quarters of a cup of kale, one pound of butternut, This one is a small one, it's one pound, but you can have a bigger one and add just all the other ingredients. Also, one shallot chopped, one teaspoon of grated ginger, half a cup of quinoa, one tablespoon of butter. If you do not want to use butter, you can use oil instead. And half a cup of hot water, salt and pepper. Let's start cooking. I have cut my butternut in two halves, remove all the seeds inside the holes, and now in a microwave dish, I put my butternut cut size down, this way, with half a cup of boiling water. I cover with plastic wrap and put in the microwave for 10 minutes or until the flesh is very soft. In a skillet, I add one tablespoon of oil, the mushrooms, and the ginger. I cook this for five minutes. Our mushrooms are ready. We add some salt, some pepper, and the kale. We cook it for about two minutes. So our butternut is ready. Look, the flesh is very soft, so we can now spoon it in the mixture. Just be careful not to damage the skin as we will stuff it later. So I combine all ingredients together and once it's done, I'll put them back in the butternut skin. So the texture needs to be like this, which is not dry. If you feel like it's too dry, you can add a little bit of water or coconut milk. And if you think it's too wet, then you can cook it further to let the, the water go in the smoke. So our mixture is ready to go back in the butternut skin. So with some uh, kitchen towel, kitchen paper, I just wipe my skillet and we're ready to start with the quinoa. So you add the butter in the skillet and if you don't want to use butter you can use oil huh? as I said earlier. So up to you. So we let the butter melt, add the shallot, cook for one or two minutes and then add the quinoa, cook for another two minutes and we'll cover This mixture will cover the butternut with it. So we just have to add the quinoa on top of the butternut. Et voilà! My shiitake stuffed butternut. It's delicious, really worth trying. Enjoy and bon appétit!